In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the bar envelope out of just about any size piece of paper that you want. It has some really nice properties if you use an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, which I'll go into as I'm folding the model. Now, you may have seen similar folds to this out there. However, the process that I'm going to show you has a couple of nice properties, one of which is the color change on the bar of the envelope, which gives you a nice uh, palette to work with if you want to use stickers, uh, letters, embellishments, what have you. It's, it's a really nice design feature. The other advantage to this folding process that I will show you is that it, you are able to use the entire width of the envelope. I've seen some other folds that actually don't allow you to use the entire width of the envelope, which is a little frustrating. So let's get started. For the first part of the demonstration, I'm just going to use a square piece of paper. Now, I am using an 8.5 by 8.5 square piece of paper. So I've taken an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper and I've cut it into a square. And that has a, a really nice size when it's finished. And I'll explain that when we're done. So what you want to do is you want to find the side of the paper that you want to be the outside of the envelope. The bar of the envelope will be the back side. So what you want to do is you want to take the side that you want to be the majority of the envelope and you want to have that facing down. Then you're just going to go ahead and fold the paper in half. And then you're going to take the paper and you're going to fold it just, just the top flap and you're going to fold that in half. And then you're going to take, again, just this top piece and you fold it in half. And then once again, you're going to take just this top flap and you're going to fold that, just that, that flap in half. And this part right here that you're folding will be the bar of the envelope. So basically what you have is kind of an accordion fold, which each fold is half the width of the preceding fold. All right, from there you're going to take this corner and you're going to fold it at a 45 degree following the bottom edge of these folds that you just did. Like that. And on the other side you will do the same thing folding it right up to this edge. Now what you want to do is open this up, just one fold open, and you're going to fold this right alongside this edge of the flap. So it should come to a point right here. And you want to make sure that this edge lines up with this edge so that you have a nice straight fold. And of course you can do the same thing on this side. You're going to take this and you're going to fold right along this edge, right all the way up. So you want to make sure you come to a point here and that this edge lines up with this edge. Okay, now what you're going to do is open these folds up and then open these triangle folds up. And you're going to open this flap and while you do that you're going to squash this open. So that's what you have. Again, you're going to take this, open it up, squashing this open. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take this flap here and just fold it down on the creases that crease that you've already made down like that. So you just fold this down on the crease you've already made. Now you're going to take this flap and you're going to fold it. Okay, you can see how we have this bottom part right here. We're going to fold this so it lines up right along that edge, like that. 
get that as nice against that, as tightly against that as possible. And again, on this side, we're gonna take this corner and fold it so it lines up right against this edge. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these flaps that we just folded and we're gonna tuck them underneath this bar. Now we're gonna take this flap and we're gonna fold it over, opening up this flap like that. And again, on this side, we're going to fold this over, making sure that this opens up like that. Now, you're going to notice that your envelope's going to start puffing a little bit here. That's just as, depending upon the thicker your paper is, the more that's that's gonna start to buckle. So it's nice to use a fairly thin piece of paper for this. And then what you're gonna do here is on this diagonal crease that you've made, you're gonna take both, of, both uh, layers, and you're gonna fold them back on that diagonal crease that you made. And the same thing on this side, you're gonna take this diagonal fold that you made and you're going to fold them backwards locking that together and then this will fold down right to the bottom edge of this and it should fold really nicely because you've already made uh, some of those creases on the back side and then you just go ahead and tuck that in and you have a nice bar envelope and again you have the color change here so you can uh, write a name you can use stickers embellish that you can put a nice design on this side but the really cool thing about this design is if you're using an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper and you cut it down to a square so you have an eight and a half by eight and a half square what uh, you'll notice is that it is the exact, and I mean exact, right size for a money envelope. It fits perfectly. So if you want to give somebody money and, or tickets or anything like that, but and you want to make it look uh, a little bit like you put some thought into it, you can go ahead and make this envelope. It fits money perfectly. Tuck that in. And there you go. Now I'm going to show you something that you can do if you want to use an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper without cutting it because you can make uh, the very same envelope but by not using by not using a square you can design it so that you have a nice lock to the to the model like that and so you can open it like that but the envelope itself is the same size and I'll show you really quick how you can make this you take your eight and a half by 11 piece of paper and what you want to do is you want to fold it as if it were in an eight and a half by eight and a half square and the way you're going to do that is you're going to fold along the diagonal and the only reason you're doing this is because you want this point right here so you can know where that eight and a half square is so you could theoretically just measure it as well if you wanted to but since we're doing origami, we'll do it by folding. So let's fold this into a nice triangle. And then we're going to fold this back right along the edge of the fold that we made. OK, so now that we have this point, we now will fold it like we just did the other model. We fold this up to the edge as if it were an eight and a half by eight and a half square. We do that. I'll go through these really quickly. Eight 
it's really not going to change at all, but you'll see the difference that it makes. Um, when we fold it along this edge, of course this is going to go all the way over, and as we fold this along the edge, it's going to wrap around here, which is fine. Okay, we'll do the same thing. Drop those under that flap. We fold this. Tuck this triangle under. We fold this. We tuck this triangle under. Okay, now, when we fold on this crease here, what we can do is we fold under right along this edge here. So we just fold it under and then we just shove this until it's basically until we we like how far it is and then we crease it down if you want you can then open it up and set those creases a little nicer and now by just using an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper we have a locking envelope and again, this envelope, since it was based on an eight and a half by eight and a half square, will fit US money very, very nicely. And you can lock it up, close it up, however you want. Now, uh, the dimensions, if you use uh, an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper, and you use it, um, you fold it uh, without looking for that extra flap, as if you just took a piece of paper and you folded it up like this, down like this. So you use the full eight and a half height. You will have an envelope that's this size, which you'll see comes to five and three quarters inches wide by three and a half inches high. If you do a piece of paper eight and a half by 11 this way, folding up, folding down, what you're gonna wind up is an envelope like this, which has the dimensions of eight and a three quarters wide by two and three quarters hot. Very long and narrow envelope. Anyways, so there's different ways that you can use this envelope. And like I said, if you use some really nice paper with a very light colored backside, then you can do it up really nice, uh, put something nice on, on the front side and then put some stickers or something on the, uh, the bar. So uh, have fun with this one.